So today is going to be about the Volvo. Um, basically, uh, we're going to start taking the engine apart. Basically, it's going to do the engine conversion um, for that. So I'll do a little bit of a cheeky burnout just to go and you know show how good it is and everything. Um, and I mean, go from there basically, and then start ripping the engine out and start making something of it. Right, uh, apologies for having a flat jacket on again, but it's fucking bitter over here. Uh, you know, I'll say, I think we're about down to six degrees Celsius here, so it's a bit like, uh, you know, a bit cold and everything, you know what I mean? Hopefully, it'll, uh, it'll work okay, you know what I mean? Saying uh, I'll be able to get this sorted in the next couple of days. Um, at the moment, it's just in time. As you can see, there's no 350 in the unit. Basically, I went to go and do a track day, um, an anxiety circuit the other day, um, and uh, yeah, it went well on everything, like, uh, the car performed as it always does, faultlessly, um, but the problem is, is that I developed a bit of a, a knock on the back end, um, well, actually, it's a track day, so you're not supposed to be drifting, are you? <laughs> um, and I started drifting on the track day. Um, and basically I um, developed a knock on the back end of the Z so I'm a bit like well I don't want to risk it there's an auto test tomorrow uh, and with it being an auto test tomorrow uh, I was hoping that this would be finished and ready to go but obviously it's not I haven't even started it but I've never done a never done a swap like this before on a on a brick basically on a 740 um, I'm told it's just a plug and play I don't know uh, but we're about to find out so hopefully today we can get all the pipes undone uh, all the engine mounts undone the gearbox uh, nuts undone um, Hopefully we can get it to a position where it's ready to pull um, today. If we can, we'll try and get the other, the new turbo setup put in in place. Um, but I'm not holding much hope to be honest. It's cold. I've got stuff to do tonight, and I really can't be bothered. So let's go. Luckily enough, I didn't load the car, <laughs> so I could actually get fucking shit underneath it, like the bowl for uh, when the water pops out of here now. Uh, for once, I did things the right way. I said once the radiator's done draining now, then we'll uh, we'll hopefully be able to crack on pulling it backwards. Um, I dropped a bit of water, which is by accident, but. It is what it is really, there's not much I can do about it. Um, it happens, doesn't it? And I can be able to get this rad shroud out and start working backwards. So, let's see what happens. Here's the end of today. Good results. As you can see, exhaust manifold, I took that off to make it easier because I couldn't be bothered getting underneath to go and uh, take off the downpipe. Power steering had to be taken off at the, at the, uh, the pump, basically. But apart from that, we're all ready to go. Um, it is out. B two hundred. Ah, I say if you know anyone wants one, help yourself. It won't come any wire on one because, well, I'm hoping. What I'm hoping for is that I can use the wiring loom on my other red top, basically, and then that way um, it'll just be a plug and play. So I don't have to swap any of the wires inside the car, basically. Um, here's the other engine which is gonna go in um, as I said I'm kind of hoping it's just gonna be like a plug and play kind of setup I keep getting told it will be but I don't know there's some other bits which people are talking about that are gonna need um, 
like turbo stuff basically um, but I haven't got a clue basically Let's see, I need to put my um, my flywheel and clutch on that um, I'm, I'm going to try and find a crank seal as well to go on that here yeah. but as you can see all the pipes I'm going to change all these pipes before I put them on basically so it should hopefully make it easier um, we're putting the engine on um, but we'll see do you know what I mean? Any of the items I can swap to an old, to the old attire style, then I will basically try and make it easier. Um, and the boots of the Volvo. Hold on, let me move this out the way. I need to take that with me. Uh, I've got all the stuff basically, but the wiring room's down there somewhere. Um, I don't know what this box is for, but obviously the ECUs and all that type of stuff are right there. Um, Hopefully, as I said, it'll plug and play without me having to swap anything else on it. Um, if it does all in good, if it doesn't, then I might end up looking for another um, set of ECUs basically because I probably won't be bothered to go and swap all the wire and lube inside. So if I can do it that way, jobs are good. And, um, but yeah, yeah, we're out of clothes for today basically. Um, tomorrow we're going to be at an auto test day with, uh, well the lads I went to, my brothers and a couple of friends who went to uh, the Anxi track day the other day. Um, that's it basically, so there we go. Uh, hopefully next time the turbo engine will be going in um, and um, hopefully I can get it running half decent in it. You know what I mean? With what I've got. Um, if I can't, all I'm good. We're doing a skid then, isn't it? Saying um, it's just a matter of chopping the springs, welding a diff, go do a skid, pretty much. So, but yeah. We'll see what happens.